This is a automatic jar opener that my Nana has given me to fix. Um, basically, from what I can gather, it's got a little three volt DC motor in here, system of plastic gears. The idea is that when you push this button, these two jaws come in and grab the jar, and then these two jaws come in and grab the lid, and then it automatically twists as it does that. Problem is that when you do that, nothing happens. So, anyway, we'll um, pull it apart and see if there's something broken, or at least be able to figure out how it works, because it's kind of cool. So the battery is going here, and they go out in a really odd way. They kind of go in on an angle, which is strange. I figure the next thing to do is get this little pin out, which seems to be working. He says. Uh, let me get a small screwdriver. I'm sure there's a proper tool for this, although maybe not. It looks a lot easier to get in than it is to get out. No, smaller still. Okay. Alright, so that pins out. Put this over here and parts file. And then that one comes off quite easily. There's a little gear that runs these two racks. And then this whole thing should just lift right off. And I saw a couple of springs, so hopefully the whole thing doesn't explode on me. Okay. As far as I can tell, we've got to get this spring out. Okay, so I think I need to get this out first. So that's looks like everything. Now I'm expecting that this thing to just fall apart in a big pile of clock springs, but oh no, there we go. Part all looks fairly contained. It's well lubricated, it all moves pretty freely. So I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue might be somewhere down in here. Okay, here we go. Alright, so there's our switch, and this is our motor, and you know what I think the issue is? I think this is actually frozen up, because this is a reduction gear here, and that's really stiff on that shaft. If you see if you move it, whereas all the others spin freely, and it should actually only be that bottom one. And you can see a bit of discoloration there. So I would say that's probably the problem. So this is um, 1200 grit wet dry sandpaper, I'm just using it dry. And I'm just going to take just probably a couple of microns really, just off this shaft, and try and um, get it so that it's a bit of a tighter fit, oh, sorry, a looser fit with the um, that top gear. I've sanded the, um, the shaft and also just rolled it up and sanded the inside of the gear a little bit as well. And now when I put it on, this is dry fit by the way, I've cleaned it and dried it, it now spins quite easily, which is how the others spin and how this one probably should have. I'm just going to grab just a tiny smidge of silicon paste. And then the shaft goes in here, and so it's not going to hurt to put just a little bit more of the lubricant in that as well. The switch hooks in over there by the looks of things. Does it hook or does it just sit there? No, I think it just sits there. And then this part 
goes on here. And it's just a matter of making sure that the shafts all line up, which is unfortunately a bit hard for you to see, but there we go. Okay, our next bit was this. That goes in there. And let's just make sure that this white wire isn't going to cause any issues, so we'll just poke it inside that case slightly. And then our next piece was this little springy thing. Next we've got this thing come apart, so... Okay, so what I need to do is put it like that, and grab a little thing, pull that up, spin it around, enough, or just put it up, oh yeah, there we go, and that's, that one locked in, and then this one, there we go, it's actually fairly easy to just line up the gears, and then verify, this little pin from before, so he needs to go in, and so he can go in just like that. Let's see how it goes. I think all you do is just this. I don't know how well this is going to work though, because, no, well, let's just give it a go. So you don't actually have to touch it, it's just got to, it does it itself. I don't know if you can actually see what's going on there. And then this takes forever. Alright, well, let's see how it does. If I actually really... No. Oh, <laughs> you can't. It just pops. Oh. Okay. That's a bit more interesting than I thought it would be. Hope you enjoyed it, but... Thanks. Thanks for watching.